Sherry Sizemore had a stroke in June 2023. She went to the hospital the next day after losing feeling in half her body and experiencing mental fog. I was going downhill really fast. My husband was scared to death. He, he was certain he wasn't going to leave the hospital with me. He was certain of that. Imaging revealed she had a hemorrhage in her brain. And I was so scared. I was just so scared. But when Dr. Fromke came in the room, I felt an immediate sense of peace. I'm not kidding you. I don't know why. I just did. And he said, you need to trust me. We had a blood clot in the brain bleeding, but she had to be on a blood thinner. And so we knew whatever we were going to do surgically had to be really minimally invasive. So we used a robot to make a two millimeter incision. We evacuated the blood clot. It was the first time that a robot had been used for a case like this. Later that night, Sizemore woke up in her hospital bed with an itchy shoulder. But I grabbed an ink pen and a napkin that was laying there on my table just to see if I could write my name because when I did surgery, when I had to sign the forms to release, it looked like some kid was scratching the ink pen across the paper. And my, I took my hand and I wrote, my, I'm sorry, I get emotional because I realized then he'd saved my life for sure. For Lee Health, I'm Devin Turk.